Hey everyone, I'm Amanda from Manny Lynn Plans, back with another monthly plan with me. Today I'm going to plan out the month of February using the Pastel Abstract Monthly Kit, and then I also have the monthly script stickers. I am using Pastel Abstract for this week in both my weekly, and I will be using it in the dailies. I did go ahead and do my dashboard page as well so that every spread matches for this month. I like whenever my weekly spread matches the kit of my monthly spread the first week of the month so then everything switches over at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these boxes down first. These little boxes are always designed to fit in the days that are not in the current month. So this was like the end of January and this is the beginning of March and so that's where these big strips are designed to fit. And then these ones at the bottom are for these sections at the bottom that's not actually part of the calendar. We do also have washi tape that coordinates with this and I forgot to grab that. I'll have to add some of that later. I like to use these thinner washi strips to cover up the printed days of the week. And then I will use the days of the week stickers on the monthly sheet. Okay, so those are in now, and then I like to do the sidebar next. So I'm going to put this little box is designed to cover up this little navy box here. And then I like to put the this month script sticker. And then I like to turn my planner and put on these little check strips here for this side. You can see how I use it in... January. I just put a big old long to-do list there and then check them off as I get it done. Usually for the monthly tasks that I have to do every month. Sometimes it's ones that are only in whichever month it is. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put in these fun bright yellow date dots. All right so those are in and I think that really helps tie the spread all together. So now I'm going to go through and do some of my things that we have every week. And I forgot to grab my script sticker book while I was at the office, so I'm not gonna be able to put in any of the stickers that aren't on this monthly script page. Yeah, I know, that one will say small group, but I don't have my small group stickers with me right now. Then we have some holidays. I don't really celebrate. <laughs> Groundhog Day, but it is kind of fun to look and see what happens with that. So I will put that, I think, at the bottom here. And then February 14th is Valentine's Day. We also have an appointment that evening. So I'll use a big sticker for that. And President's Day is the 20th. Post office will be closed that day. So we will have new releases on the 3rd and the 17th. The 3rd will be functional new releases and then the 17th will be May new releases already. I went through and I put my $2 Tuesday and MLP new release stickers on a sheet. This is just the backing of a sheet. I had completely used up one of my sheets and so I just kind of put all my stickers together on this little thing and it made it easier to carry around. This functional new release, we are releasing some new quote stickers, some new script stickers in the journal font, and then also the functional colorways of the small weeks, the Hobodichi weeks sleep trackers that are on the weekly kit. We will be releasing those as well. Then we will have $2 Tuesday every week this month. We haven't had it for a couple weeks with the anniversary sale and everything, so it'll be fun to have those for you again. The seventh is Oops Bag, so you can prep for that. Those usually sell out, but just so you know. And I know we're gonna do a little weekend getaway trip, so I'll go ahead and put that in. Oh, I also haven't put in my Monday Night Bible Study yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And I think so far that is all that I can think of to put down for this month. I would love to know what monthly kit you are using for February. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Until next time.